Okay, so uh, today I think is the 22nd of uh, April and 2020 and here in Arizona yesterday it was 97 I think today's supposed to be getting about 100 degrees it's 2 o'clock so it's just under a hundred right now and you can see how happy the chickens are and we've got our our uh, um, mallow growing all over the place so keep that damp and in the shade right now it's still still growing but uh, once you get out of the shade it's starting to die off I'll take you over here by the bunny house this cage here is being unoccupied right now it's important that you have more cages than in the heat uh, so your animals don't get fly strike so uh, they can go into another cage and um, and so this one right now is being dormant but you can see the way I have these set up it's like a teardrop shape and uh, it's all portable and I just have a t-post in the center there and some canvas over the top and wet it down it'll stay relatively cool not as cool as the bunny house and oh there's oh uh, um, junior in here and so I'll spray all this down here this vegetation helps to keep it cool so this time of the year this will do but uh, it'll change for him in a little while so these are just set in with t-post in the ground and then I have this uh, rabbit wire around the outside of the cattle, cattle panels just to keep uh, my roosters from fighting so I can keep them segregated and otherwise they'll poke their heads through and try to fight each other and stuff so you can see where the the wood uh, landscaping poles here are just attached to t-posts so that way wind nothing is gonna knock this knock this thing over and so that's how I have that. Obviously, this time of the year, the heat lamp's not uh, not needed. Um, so here's the bunny house here. I've ran these for several years. I've got some videos a couple years ago of putting them up with some different designs, different transitions. You can see right now we're still utilizing the the these back here for chicken boxes, uh, for laying boxes. But here, when it get, when it gets hot these are going to fill up with hay and then you're able to wet them down completely to the top and then on the top here will be uh, air conditioning units will go in there you can see over here i've got uh, three air conditioning units and i they're 500 waters and i'm able to take them apart and rotate them because they'll they'll uh, get fouled up with the rabbit hair uh, you know after so every couple weeks I'll rotate it with another one clean it out this hen here she's she's thinks she's brooding uh, but I'll be out to collect the eggs here in a second so for right now I've transitioned this over from winter to where you're trying to keep it warm in there to now where you can see I can just hang this to the tree open it up a little bit drape it over the back and then wet it down wet the straw bales down on the outside a little bit and so the idea this time of year is to uh, capitalize on the swamp cooling and so these bricks here for winter time are faced up like this and then you have the straw lined on the hay lined up on the inside you can see here where I flipped them over for ventilation and pulled out some of the straw there which will create these uh, these inward drafts of air in through the in through the structure and keep it nice and cool in there so it's hot out here I've my shirts all wet down here's all the ducks over here you can see they got their little area and shade and their swimming pool They're they're nice and happy and again lots of vegetation keep the vegetation growing keeps them cool uh, the mallow along this side here you can see now where it's going to seed and this will be all alongside both sides of this structure I'll be harvesting out all of this mallow seed uh, the chickens love it uh, uh, rabbits this is just a staple for the rabbits and so you can see on this side where I flipped it over as well uh, this sheet here that's hanging suspended from these uh, landscape poles and you can see how again they're all attached 
to T post so the wind isn't going to make them go anywhere. This sheet is probably, a, I don't know, it's at least a year old. You can see where it's torn in the corner and that actually wasn't even a tear from the wind. That was from when I had taken it down with high, really high winds, wrapped it around the pole. You can see where I have them set to where they can disconnect quickly. And, uh, and the rabbits decided to chew into it. So then you're able to just wrap it around a pole, kind of tie it, and then, you know, and get it out of the way. But what you're also able to do with these as well is uh, you can have your rain barrel like that there for your water in. And you can put a rock in the center and put your barrel in the middle and you're able to catch water. For those of you who are into hydroponics, uh, using well water or city water or stuff like that, your total dissolved solids are too high, so you have to use reverse osmosis. I do have a machine that is portable, runs on 12 volts, it'll get me that. But when it's raining, if you get that rainwater, you're going to be right around the 20, uh, 27 parts per million and be able to run your hydroponic solutions right off that. Now there's a phenomenon that you can capitalize on with this system that I do here. Again, right now, you can see I have this heavy uh, moving blanket that I like over there. You can wet it down, just keep the door open. And, um, and you'll notice there's a bunch of, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's a bunch of flies on the outside of here which is what you got to worry about, you know, on a ranch and stuff is, is fly strikes and all flies. But when you keep this in this mode where you're using this swamp cooling effect inside there, because it's nice and cool inside, and with the water, you can spray some water up on the inside with a sprayer, or you can just take your hose and spray it up a little bit. Of course, you know, not around any electrical connections, of course, or anything. And... And what ends up happening is it you come inside here, it's nice and cool. See? The rabbits are just hello, hello, nice and happy, not panting. And if there's any flies, that's not a that's not a fly. You can see there aren't along the roof here. No flies, nowhere. No flies. They keep out because of the barometric change. But look at it at the front door. Look at it at the door here. They're all over here like they're like they're wanting to come in. But this is as far as they go. They're all over the place out here. Right out here, flying all around. But so you, you can learn some of these tricks on uh, on keeping the keeping the flies down you can see here for the summertime when I'm closing this off and I have uh, the air conditioners air conditioner hooked up in the back which will drop this temperature in here down about 79 80 degrees but that's when it's like 120 out here <laughs> but you can put soda water bottles in here see how this does and that's so that I can create some extra light and I'll put them in different places underneath some of these uh, bricks and and stuff and and what it'll do is it'll capture that light and uh and bring some lighting in there uh and you know to supplement artificial lighting and believe me all the chickens everybody you go in here right now the ones that are in the cage oh jaxie he's bound there's jaxie right there he's a free ranger now why do you think he's in here <laughs> Because this is where it's nice and cool and come uh, Come summertime when it's a hundred and ten hundred and twenty degrees You're gonna you can't keep the chickens out of here either. They're all congregated in there so anyways, this is a, a System that is you know transitional for the seasons it can stay nice and warm in the winter time and uh, We've been through in the number of years We've been through some monstrous windstorms. You you look at our neighbors. You probably you can hear if you listen. Guy down the road is still getting his roof repaired. Almost every one of the places out here had their roofs redone from the wind and hail. And uh, but we get some tremendous wind out here, and these have never moved anywhere. So, anyways. 
I'll catch you guys later.